being part of this huge program under the Make in India initiative gives me a sense of achievement, a sense of purpose, a sense of pride. Having the chance of being part of an aircraft being built from scratch is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This is a very uh, special program to me because this is first time Make in India full aircraft program industrialization and dream come true. This aircraft has been uh, used within the Indian Air Force as a troop transport aircraft and goods transport aircraft for military and uh, civilian purpose. 16 aircrafts are coming straight from Spain and the other 40 will be proudly made in India at the Tata Airbus facility. This facility is India's first private military transport aircraft production plant, a partnership between Tata Advanced System Limited, TASL, and Airbus Defence and Space, Airbus DS, located in Vadodara, Gujarat. In this, we have a total of 56 aircrafts being delivered to Indian Air Force. And 16 from flyaway condition and 40 which are to be manufactured in India. So this program is very special to me because first of all, uh, this will boost our uh, country's economy and uh, you know, improve the global stand that we have. It's a total game changer for India's airlift capabilities, capable of carrying up to nine tons of payload or 71 soldiers. The C-295 takes off and lands on short, semi-prepared surfaces. The C-295 aircraft will replace the IAF's old HS-748 Avro fleet. It's perfect for India's tough terrains, whether it's the borders with China or the remote Andaman and Nicobar Islands, manufactured under 21,935 crore rupees contract. And this is the first time in the history that Indian Air Force has given an order to a private sector to give them aircrafts. Indian, an aerospace engineer and an Airbus employee. It is truly a privilege to come to work every day for this Make in India program. When you put together two cultures and these ones there uh, in some aspects are quite different, you can only get something better. So this is really making everybody not just only better professionals but also better people. Even, even though we have uh, different uh, cultures and different backgrounds coming from different countries and we are all working for the same goal and uh, getting to the same uh, success at the end of the day, which is something very amazing. We have very different perspectives, different skills, so which is enhancing, uh, you know, innovation from our side, enhancing agility and the way of working while collaborating is great. I mean, there are many uh, people who work in this industry, but uh, I'm first pilot team in India, so I feel very special. So uh, being first team is important and people will follow you. It's not only the biggest order of C295s, it's not only that we are um, doing something that we've never done before in India, but really the key that makes me proud is the team the people that are working in this program. Uh, you cannot imagine how much they are. Uh... This facility isn't just building aircraft, it's building capability. The C-295 is versatile, from transporting troops to airdropping paratroopers and even handling disaster response and maritime patrols. 
Apart from the Tatas, leading defense public sector units such as Bharat Electronics Limited and Bharat Dynamics Limited, as well as private MSMEs will contribute to this program. Airbus also inked an agreement with the Tata Group to manufacture the best-selling H-125 helicopter from its civilian range in the country at the Farnborough International Air Show. This is an incredibly amazing journey for both teams, which is allowing us to learn the best from each other. Together, we can do more. India thus will be the sixth location where Airbus will operate its final assembly lines besides France, Germany, US, Canada, and China. So, aviation enthusiasts, get ready for a new era in Indian defense. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to keep up with the latest updates. Thanks for tuning in.